There's her passport. Her little birth certificate. Yeah. Fresh off the boat. From Chicago. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Anybody know what that line is from? It's from a very good movie. It is a good movie. Yeah. yeah. Check it out, guys. Very excited. We have a Kaiser for you today. Mm -hmm. Designed by John Gray. Right. We'll talk about him a little bit. Mm -hmm. American knife maker. This is the SLT, right? Yes. Or the Slamline Tactical. Nice. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, let's just get into it a little bit. We're going to tell you that it is a tactical type of design, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But more than that, though, I, let's... Change it. We're going to modify the title a little okay. bit mm -hmm. on the knife. I think more than that, though, it's going to be utility. Oh, okay? utility. Okay. And so then tactical. Right. Okay. Slimline utility tactical. Nice. I okay. think that's mm -hmm. that's more that representative more of this yeah. knife, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you think we're joking on this, okay? Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get the knife in here. Okay. Guys, you think we're joking? Um, this is part of the Bladesmith series, the SLT, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's based off of a custom. Yes. Doing my research beforehand on this knife, I looked into it to find what this what this knife is actually based off of. It's it's one of his customs, the Slim Line Utility Tactical. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll bring a photo of that in now. It's amazing. <laughs> um, it's, it's really really nice. It's over a thousand dollars, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah it's, uh -huh. The Bladesmith series, that's what it's all about, right. getting you production versions of these customs, right? But it is named the Slut. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which we yes. thought was awesome. So, yeah. But she's sophisticated and classy. Right, yeah. <laughs> Look at that pivot, you guys. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We'll talk a little bit more about this knife. No, seriously, uh, beforehand, I actually contacted John. And, uh, which is really cool when, when the uh, knife makers will take time to give me some information. Right, yeah, some, some feedback. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so... I, I asked him, you know, it's SLT here, but it's SLUT on his custom. Right. I said, did they know that it's based off of the SLUT or the slut? <laughs> and John said, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They do now. <laughs> they do now. Yeah, so this is, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's John John Gray's slut. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, that joke's probably going to get old at some point here. Yeah, but Check it's Check this funny thing right out, now. though. Wow. Let's get into some of the specs on him. Shall we? I mean, yeah. sorry, her. Her specs, I guess yes. it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is a, uh, a three and a half inch blade, yeah. right? It's Hollow ground drop point. Yeah, stone with stone wash finish. Stone wash finish on there. Very cool. Yeah. Very clean looking. Right? Yeah, it's super sleek. That is S thirty five VN blade steel. Oh, uh huh. Oh, do we get a new fact? We get a new fact. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys know we talk about S35VN all the time. Okay, so a new fun fact you might not know about S35VN. It was it was produced in part with. Uh, Chris Reeve, knife maker Chris Reeve, right, um, working with Crucible Industries, okay, as a specifically as a knife steel, right. Mm -hmm. So other steels like D2, M390, these steels, they are steels that are used for other industrial applications, but they can also be used as knife steels. S35VN is the other way around. S35VN was designed specifically as a knife steel, nice, along with S30V. Yeah. So that's the little S35VN fun fact. Nice. Yeah. What else do we have on that? Mm -hmm. Oh, some I noticed too. There's a good flat portion on there. This knife's going to be very easy to sharpen. Oh, yeah, yeah. That for your nice. fixed angle sharpeners, uh -huh. that is, in our case, the KME. Yeah, what else about it? Oh, a little sharpening toil, too, speaking of that. Yep. Um, well, it's tip up. Right hand, right -hand only. only. Sorry, so lefties. You can't really modify it too much. Nope. Titanium construction. Yeah, super sleek. Now, they do have another yes. version. They have a textured version of the same knife. Mm -hmm. That's probably going to be more of your tactical one. This is more of your classy right. gentleman's Utility. folder. Right, yeah. <laughs> Utility, yeah. <laughs> well, and, and yeah. <laughs> Check out that clip. Love it is, these. It's so, I love it when it matches, too. It's so nice. You're petting the knife again? Yes. Everything about this knife is clean and mm -hmm. smooth. Yeah. yeah. So it is a frame lock. Frame lock. Overstop. Oh yeah, so down in there it's got the uh, the steel lock bar insert. Yep. Which also which I don't think you can see in there. Well actually look at the pivot though. The pivot is gonna act as the blade stop. Or I mean the uh, sorry the um the lock Oh true. Uh -huh. The lock bar stop, right? So you can't yeah. overextend it. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. And it's a of course flipper. Yeah. And it's a stiffer detent. Yeah, so um try and shake that out. I tried to do it one hand. I was going to do this. Just oh, the fall. Yeah. Yep. Very smooth. Guys, right out of the box. Yeah, you can't shake it out. Nope. Right out of the box, this thing was amazingly smooth. Yeah. I mean, at this price, Price's you expect just it. just kind of known for it anyway. Right, right. So no real surprise there, but wow. Sometimes they need a break in. This one doesn't appear to. No, not at all. So how does that feel in your hand? 
It's very nice. Well, it is slim. Actually, let's grab the uh, the calipers. Okay. It is slim, right, in the name? Yes. Let's see what this is at here. 0.52. I, I would have guessed it's a little thicker than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's average. Yep. Yeah. And then when I first grabbed it, um, I thought it was a little bit heavier than I was expecting it to be. Okay. But we'll it's really here. not too bad either. No. I mean, once you, you I'm feel guess like it's the... around five ounces. 5.8. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little heavier. She's a good. She's a chunky slip. <laughs> <laughs> you had to. Sorry. You had to. <laughs> I had to go there. Check out the flipper tab on that. How does that actuate for you? Oh, easily. Yeah. And it is a little stiffer. You mentioned on the detent. Mm -hmm. It's a little stiffer. A lot of guys really like that. A lot of people really like that. Oh, check out the barrel spacer in the back. A single barrel spacer. Oh, yeah. It that's just adds nice. to the clean. Cl yeah, like, just that one right there. That's nice. Yeah, very cool, huh? I really like the, the clip, too. Oh, I the love shape that. Of I it. love that. It just works so well on this uh -huh. knife, doesn't it? It just flows with it. And let's let's get a better look at that too. It's relatively deep, relatively deep carry there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. What are we, are we missing? Any other specs on this knife? Yeah, I thought that was hilarious though. Talking with uh, yes. talking with John <laughs> Kaiser. May or, no may, idea. may or may not know that it's based off of the utility tactical. <laughs> that is funny. Man, this knife is smooth. Two hundred and fifteen bucks. Okay. Yeah. Well, it comes with the beautiful box, like always. Well, yeah. This so it's part of the Bladesmith series, so you get all the good stuff, uh -huh. right? You get the oh. nice jewelry box, then the pouch. You get the pouch. We use these as money bags. Yep. Guys. And then a cleaning cloth. Yeah, the bag and a little Kaiser information thing in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, very cool. And well, and you get this box as well. It's yeah, a box that's within a, good a box. One. Yeah. I just always love their boxes. They're just so pretty. They really are. Yep. Yep, so this is kind of the top of the line Kaiser in the Bladesmith series, um, along with some of the others. Well, let's bring those out, some of the other um, the knives oh, yeah. in the series, uh -huh. right? So this is right up there. I mean, 215 bucks, you know. This is the another Bladesmith. This is the Pinkerton Nomad, mm -hmm. right? One of our favorites. That one's, uh, I think, 180 And, of course, the CO1C Sheepdog, oh, right? Oh, yeah. We love, love this knife. Sheepdog. That's about 205 or so. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, 215 is right in there. Yeah. Quality wise. Those look really good together. <laughs> they do. They do. They all yeah. match. Those are some of our, our finest bladesmith examples right there. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. Um, quality wise, yeah, they're all about the same. You know, ultra yeah. smooth, ultra awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Classy. Ultra sleek. Sophisticated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all kinds of different There's names. So many for jokes. Her. Yeah, that's just for the high end call girl for, that she is. For her, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. Yeah, that is the. Um, are we missing any other details? I, think I don't we're think so. Everything. I think we got it all. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're we're doing a kind of a. We've not had this knife for very long. I wanted to get this out there. It is. Oh man, this knife is so smooth. Very excited about this guy. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, something else here too. So there's no jimping right here, but there's a thumb ramp. Yeah, you can kind of grip into it. Oh yeah, very good in the hand. Very good in the hand. Mhm. Mm That's what she said. <laughs> this is going to be our PG-13 uh, <laughs> review. Normally we try and stay around the PG I do. area. Man, this knife is smooth. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love it. No uh, hot yeah, spots whatsoever. Yeah, if you whatsoever. haven't thought about it, give this one a chance for sure. Yeah, and check out the other one too. Maybe I'll bring a picture of that in the textured version. Yeah, the, the textured thing. one's really neat. I like the texture. Yeah, either way, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Another uh, Another home run from Kaiser. I think so. I think so for sure. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that's everything on this one. Um, yeah, we'll catch you next time.